Here we are testing the OFM 650V4 Special Edition and this time NASA V2. First I'm gonna just test the flight in manual attitude and GPS modes and then we are gonna try the uh, autonomous flight with the iPad GCS. Here we go. Manual flight. Of course, the most agile mode to fly with. And uh, we recommend only for the professional pilots. Attitude mode. And GPS position hold. This is where the baby should stay, right where it is. Yeah, one of my customer and fan is right. This does look like a flying crab. All right, let me change the battery and go for iPad ground control station all right so to fly with iPad first thing you're gonna need is the iPad of course with the uh, ground control station and other things installed then uh, if you're not gonna use the uh, iOSD with NASA v2 only the data link 2.4 GBT are enough Bluetooth enabled uh, on the ground On the ground you just have one unit here with the Bluetooth, I mean one of the data radio with the Bluetooth, alright? And uh, to power it up, I should have the, to power it up, I'll just power it with the 11.1 volt battery, right here. Okay, so leave the data radios here on the ground. On the machine, you just need to add the other data radio. So on NASA V2 Hub here, I mean this little thing, the, B, uh, the VSEN unit, you just click, put it here, and mount this somewhere safely where you can have nice and good signals coming through. So you might want to mount these antennas at 90 degree as well, but for now we are just testing it. So I'm just going to leave it somewhere hanging, alright? And then we'll go give it a try. All right, my data radio is on and my quadcopter is over there. I'm waiting for it to actually lock all the satellites. Uh, let me set my tripod nicely. Unfortunately, today I have to work by one hand and do everything myself as Mariam is resting at home. All right, now the iPad is ready. Uh, you can see here today is cloudy, so it's gonna be a good thing. We can see something at least I'll go turn on the Bluetooth. I do not have Wi-Fi here. I hope the um, The GCS will have the map for me. So I'm gonna run the GCS And it says turn on the Wi-Fi. I would simply say no for now Right now I got my link. All right. All right, so I have set it up. I don't have the satellite map right now. I do have a little bit of uh, other map, so I'll just stay here for now. And uh, you can see it shows my quad somewhere over river, which I don't care at the moment because I'm gonna fly right here. All right, now let me go grab my radio. So if anything goes wrong, I can actually go manual mode and control my quad. So I'm gonna sit down here and try it and set the camera as uh, in a way that you can all see it. All right, let's see how much things can actually go wrong. So I'm gonna take off in uh, with the GCS. Switch to GPS mode. 
right? Now, I have my iPad controls here. The quad is really high, so I'll bring it down. You can see I'm flying with iPad now. I'm just trying to keep it in the camera view so you can see what I'm doing. I hope you can see the quad and uh, bring it down a little. All right, go right, go left. Go forward, go backwards. So flight with iPad is really working nicely. And if I want, I can bring it back any times uh, using the one key, go home. Now let me try the one click and go feature, okay? So, uh, put the throttle in the middle on the radio. I'm gonna take click and go. I put it very close to the quadcopter and put the height to uh, 20 meters. Is camera recording? Yeah. And I say go. You can see the quad is going to that waypoint and it has arrived there and rising to 20 meters. All right, I have a Sony little camera for now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, bring it back down and try the multi-way point. All right, as we can see, I have set these four waypoints really close to each other because I'm flying very close to this grassy and hilly area here. Um, there is my quad, so I'm gonna put the camera a little bit pointing upwards. Alright, and we will say to the GCS that we are done, we are okay, and go, and after that I'll pick up the radio quickly. There goes the quad. All right, it stops there. And it should start flying to its first waypoint. Let me see if there is a tree there or not. Well, it's clearing up all the trees for now. Goes to the first waypoint. Turns his head. Going to the second waypoint. So it's doing its course really nice. I'll put the radio down and see what's happening on the GCS. Going to the third waypoint. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and coming to the fourth waypoint. There's my quad, it's repeating. I'll put it down here. and call it back. Let me set the home point. So I just told the lady to go home. And <laughs> I have set the go home really far away on the grass. So she's gonna land on the grass there. So I'm gonna take control and land it myself. 
你下路。那那那，现在不，现在不不不，我来下路。你这个可以试多少个航点？十六。All right, this is back safe, and my iPad is lying there. So uh, another successful autonomous flight.